Hello everyone. I'm glad to be back with you today to share another process video. This layout I made for buttons galore and more and I love their beautiful products and will share exactly what products I used here in a minute. So the way that I started with this layout was with um, patterned paper from the Splendid Collection. I'm scrapping pictures of a day that we spent in Key West where we got fresh lemonade made by a sweet gentleman right in front of Ernest Hemingway's home. So on our trip last summer. So I loved these photos and thought it would be really fun. Even actually when, when we were purchasing the lemonade, I was actually thinking, oh, I need to do a great lemonade layout. So, or a great lemon layout. So um, I had some pattern paper that I thought I would be using. And then when I got the Splendid Collection and it had that wonderful citrus patterned paper, I thought, oh no, that's perfect. So what I did here is I backed my photos and a couple of pattern papers from Splendid. And then I used the ink pads. I think I used mustard seed um, to start uh, of Distress Oxide. And I just used the ink pads and dragged those across the page just above where the photos would be and below where the photos would be. And then I went back and added water. I am using uh, Vicki Booten's Foundations mixed media paper, and I did not have anything on it. So I didn't coat it with gesso or anything like that. It's not necessary. If you're just wanting to move the ink around a little bit, if you were really wanting to move that ink around, you would need to put something on it. But um, with the mixed media paper, it's a heavy weight. It does beautifully with um, distress oxides because they're water soluble, going back and adding water afterwards. So that's what I did there. I didn't do a whole lot of water because I kind of wanted it to look a little bit stripy underneath there. I love how that looks for some reason. Um, so I did that and now I am adding um, stamps from the Splendid Collection. I'm using the leaves uh, with, I'm trying to remember what color green that is. Oh my goodness, so sorry, can't remember. Um, mode Lawn. Mo is, that right? is that right? Yeah, I think that's what it is. So it's a beautiful green distress oxide. And so I do um, the stamps from the Splendid, the leaves from the Splendid collection. And then I also did throw in some leaves from the Sweet Rush collection. So I did both of those. And then uh, I go back and add water to where I did just the, the green ink again and kind of dried it up. I don't love my stamps to look perfect. Uh, I don't like them to look too sharp um, on the layout. And so I did go back and add a little bit of water and then kind of dry it up because I didn't want it to be too messy either, but I did want it to kind of have just a, a little bit of a weathered look. So adding the water, um, pretty quickly after you stamp it while it's still wet works well for that. So here I've got the ink ready and then I just put the ink pad on my acrylic block and added a little bit of water to do some splatters of the green. They're not, I didn't go too crazy with the splatters. It's just kind of a hint of those. All around where I knew I would want to be putting my lemons and citrus, the oranges and the flowers and all of that. So again, I started by fussy cutting a whole lot. I spent a lot of time um, cutting out lemons and the lemons and oranges and leaves uh, and a few flowers as well. So that's kind of what I did behind the scenes. I didn't make me uh, make you watch me do that because it's dreadfully boring to watch on camera. So um, I did that off camera and then have it ready. And here I did not pop up the pictures. I usually do put craft foam behind everything, um, but I did not do that on this layout because I did want the lemons and the citrus, the lemons and oranges and all those leaves and flowers and all of that to kind of be draping over the photos a little bit. And so I have a lot of the layers of the stuff that I fussy cut on craft foam, like that lemon right there, I had popped up on a little piece of craft foam I'm kind of doing it a little bit below the camera, so I don't know that you'll be able to see me do it every time, but I am adding some yellow craft foam behind, doesn't matter what color it is. I use the cheap stuff from Michaels um, and do my own adhesive. But I am gonna build the layout there. So some of the elements I popped up on craft foam, some of them are just flat, but I did uh, distress the edges of most of those elements with my little Tim Holtz paper distressor. 
so they do have texture even if they are not popped up on craft foam they do have texture which kind of um, makes them look more layered so I did when I was um, cutting out all of these things I did pay close attention to try to keep all of those oranges with their beautiful um, leaf sprays and the lemons with the leaf sprays and all of that. But then once I got it on the layout, they weren't necessarily going in the right direction or where I needed them to go. So I do end up kind of cutting off some of those pieces and then gluing them down mostly together. But sometimes I did cut the, the, the twig of leaves off and have it going a different direction. So see there, I'm going back and trimming because it was kind of too much for that little space. I will end up using all of it. Uh, it's just, I didn't leave it going exactly how it was. And here the key, um, I cut out some of the lemons are whole lemons. Some of them are little half lemons. And I did actually, forgot to mention this. So I did make some of my own lemons cause I needed a couple, just like two lemons that were larger in size. So I did use a yellow patterned paper from Sweet Rush, the Sweet Rush collection uh, by Vicki Booten. I did just kind of mimic the shape of a lemon. I freehanded it. I didn't even trace it or draw it or anything. I just, so right there at the bottom, that big lemon that you see sort of on the left of the cluster. And then at the top in the middle, that larger yellow lemon, those were just a piece of patterned paper that I faked it. I kind of made my own lemon <laughs> and then distressed the edges and uh, added some leaves to it. So just so you know, you can do that too. It doesn't have to be, doesn't have to be all something that was already pre-made. Um, and it looks good. It might not look as good if you were only using that, but when it's all mixed into a cluster, uh, with other beautiful patterned paper, it looks really neat. So here I'm just building it. So I kind of wanted it to go from the top, not necessarily all the way to the left corner, but kind of the top left side of the paper. And I wanted it to look like it was kind of growing and dripping down, almost like a beautiful floral uh, bouquet would look. I kind of was imagining, um, I love to make tablescapes on my dining room tables. I love to add lots of layers and kind of have things, you know, draped over and um, growing down and you know beautiful things along the table so that's kind of here I was imagining like a floral arrangement uh, if you will with the citrus kind of mixed in and so that's what I did so it's kind of draping from the left sort of going down um, and then to the right at the bottom so I did go all of the elements were either fussy cut out of patterned paper and fussy cut just means you you cut something that's already there out of a piece of patterned paper. I had a friend ask me a few days ago, what does fussy cut mean? And I say it all the time, like everyone knows, but if you don't know, it just is a simple term um, for cutting something out of something that already existed. So I did go and trim. There were some paper embellishments also that I had, and I went and trimmed the white off of those, and then the rest were cut out of patterned paper. And if you see, I did, sorry, while I was talking, saying all that stuff, I did go and add a little bit of orange, um, just kind of a little, a light orange distress oxide ink uh, I just with my paintbrush I just kind of added a few little lines of that coming out of uh, the back to make it to add to the background to try to tie in some of that those ink colors so now what I'm doing is I am adding the beautiful sparklets from buttons galore uh, I think this is the spring bouquet uh, and so those are little just clay polymer embellishments they're they're um, they've got a great texture they're kind of, uh, they're matte, so they don't, they're not super shiny, uh, and they add great texture to the layout. So a lot of people use them in shakers or different, you could use them a whole bunch clustered together, but I really kind of like them sprayed around different, different um, groupings of other things, and they're beautiful. So I did little, in the close-ups you'll be able to see, I did orange and pink and yellow little, uh, they're little flowers. And then now that box over there to the left is crystals and half pearls. So I from also from buttons galore. So I am adding just the crystals, I think, on this layout. And so I did the um, pinks and yellows and oranges. There's several different varieties that buttons galore has, and they're all beautiful. Uh, I love anything that adds shimmer and shine, uh, and a lot of the buttons galore, buttons galore and more uh, embellishments do that. So. I added a bunch of those to the middles of the flowers and then just kind of spread around to add a little sparkle poking out kind of underneath some of those layers of the clusters and then 
add them to um, the flowers, like I said. So that is beautiful. I love when you're watching and just you keep finding things to catch your eye. I love lots and lots of layers of things. So now I'm adding liquid pearls from Ranger and the patterned paper that came that I fussy cut. So from the Splendid collection, all of those little lemons that I cut out, they kind of on one side of the lemon had little dots to almost mimic the texture of what a lemon would look like. And then the pattern paper that I just made of, out of, of myself out of the lemons uh, or out of the yellow pattern paper, I went and kind of mimicked that as well. So where those dots were on those patterned paper or the ephemera, I went in and added uh, liquid pearls over that to kind of give it a little bit more texture and draw your eye to those beautiful elements. So I did that on all of the little pieces of citrus. So the oranges, I added um, the orange liquid pearls and then on the lemons I added the yellow and those were beautiful and they dry with texture and raised so I love how those look with all of the other elements that I added and here are some close-up shots of everything that I did and I hope you enjoyed the process and that you have a beautiful weekend thanks for watching please give it a like and subscribe if you don't already thanks guys bye